very long travel and a long journey. Yeah, you're gonna fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Well, deep yeah. under the sea, me and all of my fish friends and my family and my sisters and my friend Sebastian. Have you guys ever met Sebastian before? Yeah. 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 You guys have met Sebastian before? I think so. Uh, yes, you. that is you. You're right. I well, see. Well, we were supposed to have a concert one of the days. Do you want to know why? Because Sebastian had organized a concert for all of the Myrtle to hear about and to see. And I didn't show up for the concert. Do you know why? Why? Well, because I went exploring with my friend. Do you remember his name? Flounder. Flounder. Nope. You don't know his name? I have not his name. I know his name. His name was Flounder. Name it? And we were searching deep under the sea in this big shipwreck. And I wanted to see if I could find thingamabobs and gatchers and gizmos. But do you know what I found down there? A shark. Shark. It's a a dingle hopper. Remember? Well, is that what it's really called? No. I didn't know what it was called at first, so I was going to take it to my friend Scuttle up at the surface. Before then, Father was being such a guppy, and I said, Father, you have to be brave. We have to go on lots of adventures. Quit being such a guppy. And all of a sudden, we heard a shark. Are you white and black? I'm not sure. It's too well. The shark came, but we swam away really, really fast. And then, I went to Scuttle. And you know what I said to Scuttle? I said, Scuttle, what is this? I found a deep under the sea. Oh, yeah. Yes, princess. This a mosquito Oh, it's okay. It will. And it's you and, the, and over there and the day. You're right, it is me. And so then I took my gadget to Scuttle and he told me that it was a dingle hopper. Do you remember what he told me that it was for? What? He told me it was for brushing my hair. Is that what you really need the dingle hopper for? No. No? It's for eating. You're right, it's really a form, but that's okay. <laughs> so do you know who had been watching me this whole time? He did so I had to swim away really really fast, but I thought Prince Eric was really handsome and I really liked him. But I wasn't gonna be able to see him because I lived deep under the sea and he lived above the surface. So my dad thought I was acting really strange. And on one day he saw that I was talking to a statue in my grotto. And do you know what happened? He got really angry. You're right. He got really mad at me. And he said, contact between the human world is strictly forbidden, and I should not go out there. And I said, but Daddy, I love him. 
and then he got even more angry and he destroyed all of my things with his triton and destroyed my statues and my thingamabobs and gadgets and gizmos. I was really sad and I was crying and do you know who came to talk to me? You're right, they were named Flotsam and Jetsam and they were friends with Ursula. Do you remember that? Yeah. Well, they brought me to Ursula's cat cave. And do you know what happened down there? She told me, she said that I could become a human if I signed a scroll that signed my voice away and she could keep my voice in a shell around her neck. Do you know what happened then? Did I sign the scroll? Yes. Yeah, do you know what happened? I became a human. I would become a human. But there were three days that I had to break the curse. And on the third day, if I didn't, I would have to stay with Ursula forever. And I wouldn't be able to talk or sing or dance or do anything. So I signed the scroll, and my voice just kept in a nice shell of hers around her neck. So I swam with all my might up to the surface because I couldn't breathe. I was no longer a mermaid. So when I got to the surface, I saw my feet. And I was like, oh my goodness. I have feet and I was so excited, but I couldn't talk. And so I had to get my friends, Sebastian and Scuttle and Flounder, to get me some clothes to wear. And so they tied a... Luna. What's that? They tied a sheet around me with a rope. And I saw Prince Eric and Max, and I tried to speak to him, and I tried to signal with my hands, which was really silly, because I couldn't talk or speak or anything, so he didn't understand me. But he thought I looked really familiar, because I was the one that saved him, and he was going to try to marry the girl that saved his life. And so I got all ready with his maid over here named Carlotta, and I got all ready to go, because we were going to have dinner in his castle. And I saw something that looked really familiar to me. It was a dingle hopper. And I brushed my hair with it, and everybody looked at me kind of funny, and Prince Eric was laughing at me. And I was thinking to myself, why is he laughing at me? That's so silly. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. But it turns out they're called forks, and they're for eating. They're not for brushing your hair. So on the next days to come, we went on lots of adventures. Do you know what we did? We went to puppet shows and went dancing. It was so much fun. And finally that night, we went on a nice boat ride, and I thought this is when I was going to kiss Prince Eric. But it turns out that wasn't true, do you know why? Even though my friends had set the mood to make it really special, Ursula's eels, Flotsam and Jetsam, crashed the boat, which was not very nice of them, but Ursula thought I was getting too close to breaking the curse, which was true. I was really close. And then... Prince Eric heard the voice of the girl that saved his life. And all of a sudden, he was under a trance. Do you know who that really was? Ursula. And on the next day, I was thinking to myself, it's my day, I'm going to get married to Prince Eric. And I was so excited because he was looking for a queen. But was that true? No. No, who was he with instead? Ursula. You're right, he was with Ursula. And he was getting ready to get married to her, not me. But Scuttle saw something. Do you know what he saw? In the reflection of the mirror, he saw that Vanessa was really Ursula. So we knew that we had to defeat. We knew that we had to defeat Ursula. Do you know why? Because she was going to try to marry Prince Eric. And Prince Eric was going to go along with it because he was under a trance. Isn't that crazy? So all of my friends were going to try to stop him. But the wedding had already started. So Flounder tried to swim up to see what was going on. And Scuttle tried to fly to see what was going on. And all of a sudden, just as they were about to get married, do you know what happened? What happened? Do you know they, they fought her. You're right, they fought her. And Scuttle grabbed the shell and smashed it on the floor so my voice would come out and come back to me. And I could finally talk again. But when I could talk, do you know what Eric said? Yeah. He said to me, you're the one. You're the one I've been looking for. I said, it is. It's me. But I kissed to try to break the curse. And I said, the curse is broken. But was it really broken? No. No. It was too late. 
since the sun had already set. My I had turned back into a mermaid, and Prince Eric was really confused. And Ursula grew really big. But before she grew big, do you know what happened? She turned me into something, and I couldn't speak or talk or anything, and I was really, really tiny. So I was really scared, but my dad decided to come and help me. Do you remember my dad's name? Poseidon. Poseidon? Well, that's a good guess. It's King Triton. Dad, you big? He is. Dad, no, Dad is not uh, You're right, he does like to swim. Uh, so he decided that he was going to switch spots with me. So he gave over his trident to Ursula. Do you know what happened? And he grew really, really small. And he was going to have to stay with Ursula forever. Because Ursula was really jealous of my dad. Do you know why? She wanted to rule the kingdom, but my dad got to rule the kingdom instead of her. And so she was really jealous. So I said, oh, daddy, I'm so sorry. And then Ursula grabbed the triton and grew really big. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, she grew really, really big. And then the princess. You're right. So then she grew really big, and we, me and Prince Eric were really tiny in the water. And then she grew even bigger than the ship. She was huge. And she was going to try to defeat all of us so that she could reign the ocean once and for all. But do you know what happened? Prince Eric drove the ship and he defeated Ursula. And then all of the people that were stuck under the curse of Ursula became human again. Or Ursula. And then the dad came to see they became merfolk again, and they could go swim with their families, and all sorts of things like that, and they were free at last. And so was my dad. But I was still a mermaid. And Eric, I really wanted to be with Prince Eric, so do you know what my dad did? He touched his train to the water, and he said I could be a mermaid and a human whenever I wanted. So I became a human again, and I came out in a beautiful sparkly dress to see Prince Eric. And I reunited with him and we hugged. And all of my friends and family cheered us on on this special day. And that's when me and Eric got married. And that's when we lived happily ever after. Thank you so much for listening to my story. Now, have you guys ever played the game called Freeze Dance?